Hello, my name is Greg George. I'm an Applications Engineer and the Chief Dynamic Quality Paradigm Integration Facility Strategist in Strategic Alliance and Distinctives for Optimization, Liaison, and Accountability with Octon. And today I wanted to talk about the DesignX versus DesignX Essentials Distinctives. So there is a chart out there. I did a webinar on the release of Design X. And what I wanted to do is just break down the most simple explanation of the differences, the, dis the key distinctives between the two different products to help people sort out um, which product is better for them. Um, so the first one uh, that I think is a key one, we'll just kind of start at the beginning when you open up the software. Licensing. Um, DXE is online activation only. Design X, full Design X, has online dongle and network. Um, so that is a key distinctive there that your licensing scenario is online activation. You can deactivate the software on one computer and then move it to another, but you have to have access to both of those computers. You have to deactivate, go in, turn it off, and then go to another machine and activate. So online activation only is the number one point. Number two, scanner plugins. DesignX Essentials does not come with any scanner plugins. What the expectation is, is that you bring in scans from somewhere else, right? From another software and bring them in primarily as a mesh um, but we'll get to that here in a second. Um, Full Design X has all the plugins in it, and Essentials does not have any plugins in it. The next one that kind of relates to that, um, the point cloud tools are not inside of Design X Essentials. It will let you import in a point cloud file, but you don't have the ability to triangulate as this icon shows right here. Um, you don't have any of these tools right here, the ability to triangulate them into a mesh or crop them or anything. You just have the point cloud on screen. You can cut cross sections through them though um, and use the mesh sketch tool. It will let you import them and you can do some basic modeling off of them. So point clouds, that's another key difference between the two. DesignX Essentials doesn't have the wizard tools or auto sketch. Those are kind of grouped together into uh, same kind of functionality, right? Time savings tools. Um, it does have mesh fit though. Essentials has the mesh fit tool, which isn't like loft wizard, right? It just gives you a surface fit to an organic shape. Um, so it does have that. That's a nice uh, concession there for Essentials. Uh, another one here is uh, 3D Mesh Sketch, you do have 3D Sketch inside of Essentials, but you don't have 3D Mesh Sketch, right? So if you go into a 3D Mesh Sketch, it'll allow you to draw the spline and have it snap and fit directly to that mesh. Um, but uh, that is a key difference there with the uh, 3D Mesh Sketch, not in Essentials. Uh, batch process and scan process, two different tools that kind of operate off of the same technology. They're kind of like automation tools to help process scans fast. Um, but Essentials does not have ne either one of those. Um, but good news is you do have the ability to do that stuff manually inside of Essentials. Um, another key one here is uh, selective surfacing inside of the auto surface tool. Uh, selective surfacing is a option inside of that tool, uh, auto surface. What it does is it allows you to section off and auto surface everything but a specific area. Um, you do have the auto surface command, you just don't have the selective sur surfacing option, which is this bottom dialog, right? So that's another one. And finally, uh, the last one is Live Transfer Tool. So DesignX Essentials does not have the Live Transfer Tool that's in the full DesignX, as everyone knows. Um, but you do have the ability to save out some neutral CAD formats, such as uh, Step and IGES. Um, so the idea there is you can save out and go with a neutral CAD format and save it out that way. Um, just general overview. 
Um, Essentials is targeted more towards the left side here. This is a slide that I'm reusing from another presentation, but um, Essentials is uh, designed to tackle more of your beginner and intermediate reverse engineering tasks. Well, while DX, uh, the professional version is more of like the full on every tool that we make um, rules rice version of our software that has everything in there. Um, and of course, what comes with those extra tools is extra time savings. So the more complicated the models, the more elaborate, or the more often you use the software, the more beneficial it is to upgrade to DX Professional from Essentials. So this was just a quick video kind of explaining the differences. I'm happy to answer any other questions that you may have, but I feel like these are the eight main distinctions between the two products, and I hope that helps everyone out and clears up a lot of confusion. Thank you.